We've been using the HomePod mini for over three months now, and during that time, we've been testing it and comparing it to other smart speakers like the regular HomePod. And Max actually got me one of these HomePod minis for Christmas, and to be completely honest, I wasn't sure if I was gonna have much use out of it because I already have a regular HomePod in my living room, which I absolutely love. I've really been enjoying the HomePod mini, and surprisingly, one of the things that we thought was a downside with the Mini actually turned out to be an upside. And I actually think that this is gonna be a better buy instead of the regular HomePod for a lot of you guys out there, and I'm gonna get into that in just a minute. In this long-term review, I'm gonna focus on answering a question that a lot of you guys might be having. Is the HomePod Mini worth $100, and who should be buying one? I wanna start off with our initial impressions way back three months ago when we first unboxed a couple of these Minis, and I've gotta say that we were shocked by the incredibly small size. Look at this. This thing can fit in the palm of my hand. On top of that, it has shockingly loud volume. We were not expecting to get that much volume out of this thing, and the sound quality is really great, especially in the mids and the highs. It's very nice and crisp. But one thing we noticed for sure is that the bass on the HomePod mini is nowhere near as deep and loud as it is on the main HomePod. So just check out this sound comparison. So as you just heard, the Mini definitely doesn't compare to one of the main HomePods, but that kind of makes sense because the main HomePod is three times more expensive. But one of the benefits with going with this is that you can get two of these and connect them as a stereo pair. Yes, that's left and right audio, and they actually do get quite loud, but surprisingly, the single HomePod by itself does have more bass and it does sound better, especially at those louder volumes. But one thing that's really great about using it as a stereo pair is that you can connect these to your smart TV and basically use two of these as a smart speaker system. Now, to be completely honest, these sound so good that I would recommend using two of these instead of just some kind of basic sound bar or some cheap audio system. These are really good for that. Now, over the past three months, we've been using one of these in our office and it's been giving us a really nice music listening experience. The bass is not as deep and loud as the HomePod, but when you're in an office building like we are, you don't want really loud bass that can be distracting to other people. And to be honest, when you have really loud bass, it can be distracting distracting for us as well when we're sitting there researching or editing videos, we don't want to be distracted. The thing that really matters is the nice, clean, and crisp sound quality, and that is what the Mini gives you. Now going beyond the sound quality, what makes this really nice and worth the $100 is that it's also a smart speaker. So at any time we can ask it to play music, or for example, on our iPhone or our Macs, we can use AirPlay to stream videos or music to the HomePod minis, and that is extremely convenient because it works using Wi-Fi, and any device connected to the same Wi-Fi network can access and control the music, even if you have a guest. So for an office environment like ours, I've gotta say that the mini has been really, really great. But now, I wanna move into my experience at home since I do have one of these and I've been using it over the past three months. Since I already have a large HomePod in my living room, I was thinking about putting this guy in the kitchen. 
However, my wife does not like having extra things on the kitchen counters, so I had to make a compromise. Because of the tiny size, I was able to fit this on the kitchen windowsill, and it's been working perfectly. Now, the reason I wanted this in the kitchen is because we have sort of an L-shaped layout going from the living room into the kitchen, and sometimes when you're in the kitchen, you can't really hear the main living room home pod that well. But now, when we're washing dishes or doing anything in the kitchen, we have the mini on the windowsill and we can hear it clearly and that is just so much more convenient. Now one thing I didn't mention before is that our house is actually a duplex. So our kitchen wall is actually shared with our neighbors. So I actually like that the mini does not have very loud bass. Otherwise it would have been really annoying for the neighbors. And also because of that reason, we never max out the volume on our home pods. So the fact that the mini does not get quite as loud as the home pod doesn't really matter to us. What really matters is having nice and clean sound quality and that is what the HomePod Mini offers. But the one thing that I absolutely love about having two HomePods in my house is that now I can tell Siri to play a song everywhere and you get sound in both the kitchen and the living room. And the most important part is that the sound between both of them is always perfectly in sync. And now ever since we got the new mini, the sound quality is really, really good in the dining room because you have sound coming from the kitchen and the dining room at the same time. So it's really immersive and it sounds great. So based on all of that, I honestly don't think that I can go back to just having one main HomePod now that I have the experience of two of them. And at a price of just $100, I would definitely say that the HomePod mini is worth it because of the awesome and clean sound quality. And even if you already have a regular HomePod like I do, I would definitely say that buying a mini is worth it, especially if you have a kitchen layout like I do. And one thing I do want to mention is that we've compared the HomePod mini with other smart speakers like the Amazon Echo and the Google Nest. And our main final conclusion was that the HomePod mini offers the best balance of price, volume, and sound quality. So this is definitely a great deal. But in terms of the smart features, I'd say that the mini is definitely not the best because Siri honestly doesn't work as well as the competitors. So if you really care about smart features or having a smart home, I would probably recommend just going for an Amazon Echo because it has just so much more smart functionality. But if you just want a great music listening experience with some extra smart functionality, then I would definitely go for the HomePod mini for $100. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this long-term review. And if you did, go ahead and click the like button and click that circle above for more videos like this one. And definitely check out our HomePod mini sound comparisons right over there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.